Hi, this is Rachel Kornack with GeoPivot Magazine. We're talking to Bill Meyer. Uh, we ran into each other at the Esri Forestry JS Conference. And uh, so, well, you have just completed your first year um, at a GIS company. And can you tell me how you got um, this job out of school? Uh, I went to the Ezra User Conference in San Diego. Uh -huh. um, I asked one of my mentors at school for if they had any extra passes they said sure um, I bought a plane ticket went there oh, so you had to pay to you had to invest some of your own resources to do this yep just uh, well, I was a little resourceful uh, by asking the school they usually have extra passes to go you just uh -huh. have to get yourself there um, and I went there uh -huh. and handed my resume to anybody that would take it so, wow and did uh, you have a, like a little um, elevator pitch uh, prepared or like how did you approach people to let them know that you were looking for a position? I asked them pretty much point blank if they were looking for anybody um, and depending on what type of company it was I may may inform them that um, I'm single and ready to travel because they're not allowed to ask that. Uh -huh. and, um, <laughs> they like that sometimes uh -huh. and um, yeah, that, that was really Really about it. I just uh, asked as many as I. And you got you got a few uh, you got a few uh, hooks from that. I see. Yes. And yes. then, um, how many people do you have to talk to before you got uh, like any promising leads for an actual job? Um, quite a few. About, like twenty, a hundred, fifty. Well, from there, mm -hmm. it was uh, four to five. Oh, that's um, not bad. And because they were, I mean, majority of the people handed my resume, uh -huh. um, handed it to the human resources person. So Who was there? Um, it was pretty much, you know, they called this guy. Um, and that's how it went. So for people that are sitting at home and they're trying to find jobs by uploading their resume to, uh, you know, monster.com and similar kind of web servers, what's your advice to them uh, about how they can be more successful? I would say to research, there's um, a lot of different JS conferences out there that may be closer than San Diego mm -hmm. um, that you can probably get into for free as a student. Um, print your resume on nice paper. Um, that usually helps us stand out. Uh, and hand it to as many people as you can. Shake their hand. Um, ask what their company does and ask if they are you know, interested in hiring anybody. Um, and if they'd like to take your resume. And... That would be, um, I did not get any leads, job leads from uploading my resume. Uh, <laughs> right, I would get yeah. one or two emails, and majority of the time I would get an email. I still get emails from jobs I applied for uh, a year and a half ago um, saying, we're sorry, we did not select you, and I forgot that I even applied for the job. So um, it, it wasn't, didn't go anywhere very quick and did not result in anything more than a telephone interview. Oh, interesting. Um, it never went any further than that. Uh, these going out and meeting people resulted in them flying me to wow. for interviews. Uh, telephone interview, we'd like to fly you out, and that's where it went from there. Well, so. that's fantastic. Thank you for sharing your story. Absolutely. Thank you.